Now I am going to explain you about the irrigation in sweet paper cultivation. What's in the irrigation? Irrigation is nothing but supply of water through different methods of irrigation system to the plants. Here generally in polyose cultivation, it is advised to use the drip irrigation system for supplying the nutrition, water. Irrigation should be started once the sun rises in the morning and you should stop the irrigation at least before 2 to 3 hours before the sunset. Why we need to start the irrigation once the sun rises? Generally, the plant will synthesize its food that is called photosynthesis. It will start once it gets the light. When you will get the light in the greenhouse? You will get the light in the greenhouse during the time of sunrise. That's why we are, we are always advising the growers to start the irrigation when the sun rises and uh, stop the irrigation before 2 to 3 hours of sunset. I'm going to show you about the drip, how it should be placed. You can see here, this is the base of uh, the plant uh, paper. Always the emitter should be one inch away from the base of the stem. If you place it too much closer, while the water droplets gets uh, dripping from these drippers, it will affect the base of the stem. Always the base will get uh, these uh, fungal uh, diseases. To avoid those fungal diseases, you need to place these emitters just one inch away from the base of the stem. And always uh, the water and the nutrition are absorbed by only the white roots present in the uh, plants. Where the white roots will be there? White roots are, will be there at these regions in this region in the surroundings if you give the water in this region the efficiency of the nutrition and water will be more always the irrigation should be given in a split doses it is not advisable to give the irrigation in uh, more timings or uh, it should be always in split doses why we need to give in such a way? You need to make the root to charge the water and the nutrition. By making the root to charge of water and nutrition, there will be a more elongation, more production of white roots and root hairs, which will help the plants to build its um, physical uh, strength and uh, the generative strength. In irrigating the graph, the quality of water and the quantity of water plays a major role. What does mean by quality of water? Quality of uh, irrigation water is nothing but you need to test your water before you are going to plant or before you are going to cultivate the sweet pepper crops. You need to test the easy. What are all the salt present in the water? The, there may be beneficial salt or there may be harmful salts like uh, bicarbonates or sodium or chlorides. You need to test it, analyze it before going to plant the sweet pepper. And the quantity of water, it depends on the your nature of soil. Some soils like clay, it will consume very low amount of water. Some soils like red sandy, it will consume more water. And it depends on the age of the crop and the sunlight and how number of fruit load in the crop. Always it is advisable to use the rain water along with the borehole water to neutralize the easy. Let's say if your borehole water is 1 or 1.5, if you are mixing the rain water, it may came, come down to 0 0.7 or 0 0.8. This is the best way to reduce the EC and you can cultivate the successful crop by mixing the high EC water with the rain water. Rain water doesn't as uh, more easy. It, the EC of the rain water will be 0 0.2 or 0.3. It is more or less uh, similar to that of uh, our water. The polyoses in India are mostly naturally ventilated polyos. Now I am going to show you how you can steer the climate by using the shear net and the side cutting. It is always advised to use the shear net and operate the shear net regularly. It depends on the temperature. When you are getting inside the polyos, if you are feeling bad and if you are giving sweat, that means the plants is also getting uneasy. During the high temperature, 
during the time uh, when it reaches above 30 or 35 you need to spread the shape net as i shown in the figure it should be you should uh, cover and spread the shape net where you can reduce the temperature of around the 2 to 3 degrees celsius the ideal temperature of sweet pepper cultivation is around 16 to 28 degrees celsius where 16 is around night temperature and 28 is day temperature if it exceeds or crosses above 30 or 32 there may be chances of a lot of issues uh, like um, fruit abortion and the plant will get stress because of the stress you will get uh, loss in crop yield to avoid those, all those things always you need to operate the shade net on side cutting you need to shrink the shade net during the low light condition and cloudy weather generally in south india you can shrink the shade net during the time of evening between 3 30 to 4 o'clock you can allow the shrink shade net still uh, 11 o'clock in the morning by the time of 11 o'clock you can give shade to the plants what are all the uses of side cuttings side cutting is a window structure in a house where it will really help a lot in giving the good aeration to the crop and it will reduce the humidity let's say there is a high humidity around more than 70 to 80 inside the polios the when you open the side curtains the dry hair which are present in the outer side of the atmosphere will get inside and it will reduce the wetness or wet uh, humidity inside the polios by operating it regularly you can reduce the humidity and the good aeration always helps in better pollination and it will also helps in reducing the temperature. The high temperature inside the polios of sweet pepper cultivation will increase the pest population like thrips and mites. The high humidity, if it crosses above 50 to 60 percent, it will encourage the diseases like powdery mildew and all other fungal diseases. And it will also affect the pollination. To avoid all those things, you can use the air circulation fans along with the opening and uh, operating the shade net and you can use uh, these dehumidifying fans to reduce the humidity.